describing the so by the end of the module, by the end of the module, um, we'll be describing the relevance of the sustainable uh, development goals, so the SDGs, their background, their connection to road safety. Uh, we're also looking at why road safety is a cross-cutting global issue. You already understood from the safe system approach as why road safety connects to so many different stakeholders in society, from vehicle manufacturers to decision makers to people who design and develop roads, and all the way through to uh, legislation um, and, and and politics and, and and all the things between all the way down to NGOs and grass, grassroots level. But this is looking at it. Why is it a public health concern across different sectors of, of focus within the world of, of, of global development? And finally, um, identifying how road safety action has a positive impact on other development areas, such as quality of life, public health, education, gender equality, uh, and, and many of six different uh, SDOs, SDGs that we actually jump in and focus on. So we look at uh, introducing you to what the sustainable development agenda is all about. You know, we look at the history, we look at um, how the uh, SDG kind of came around, uh, you know, what's been the, the, the global understanding of, of sustainable development all the way back to like the Millennium Development Goals and so forth to give you a good understanding as to why we even have these things in the first place. You know, many people feel that things like the UN, things like WHO, things like uh, the SDGs are so far removed from our everyday life because they're decided at a, at, a, at a global level. But actually, a lot of consultation, a lot of things have gone into these SDGs to actually make them reflect the world that we live in. And then the whole point of these SDGs is, is that if we have global goals at the very top, at the very top of, of, of creating the, a better world that we live in, that is going to trickle into our everyday lives. And that's what this module is all about, is how do you connect that um, to road safety? And how is doing road safety going to contribute to other SDGs? Something that we don't always necessarily consider, um, but it's in line with the agenda that we have at yours, especially with things like our SDG policy briefs that we that we uh, publish via the Global Youth Coalition um, and our, our our alignment to the Sustainable Development Agenda. So I want to I want to just play you one video from the um, from the the module. It might be a bit weird because it's me talking and then I'm talking on the screen, but I'm talking on the screen to you now as well. But anyway, you'll get you'll understand what I'm doing. It's uh, it's basically uh, an introduction to the second part. So we've just gone through in this session, we've gone through um, all the background of the SDG. We've met all 17 SDGs. We've gone through it. been all. Detail. Uh, oh, we've understood it from road safety. Pre DGs before. We're pretty sure you have. What you may not have heard is how safer roads can contribute to the achievement of some of these goals. Well, that's something that we're going to discover in this section of the module. Not only will we take you on a time travel journey to know where the SDGs came from, but you'll also have a chance to meet them all individually. We will understand which of the SDGs have a strong link with road safety and the other way around, meaning how road safety can contribute to the sustainable development agenda. Let's find out more about the SDGs. All right, so, um, no, don't talk again. All right, so uh, quick, uh, a quick uh, over overview of, I'm not sure if uh, if we'll manage to get our, our experts in the room today, because I noticed that, um, well, as you can see, our uh, our experts are all across the world from UK to, to India to Australia. So I just want to first start by thanking um, Dr. Margie Peden, who's been a, a consistent supporter of yours and the Yours Academy and has gone, spent tireless hours going through our content and reviewing it, and making sure it's evidence-based and saying the right things. Uh, Margie Peden's from the George Institute for Global Health, um, and she's been a, a, an amazing support. This time around, we had uh, Shireen Wadawania from uh, Johns Hopkins University also offering our um, offering us some um, feedback on content, on modules, and where we can add things in, and where we can take things away. So you can be rest assured that all the content and knowledge that you're getting has been reviewed by these high-level experts. Uh, and then we have a, a special superstar lecture. Uh, as you know, in all of our modules, we like to have uh, people who are kind of like at the top of their game in terms of uh, public health, in terms of um, research uh, and the content 
uh, that they put together for this module uh, reflects and kind of summarizes what we've um, what we've been talking about with real life examples. So Dr. Amy Peden from the University of New South Wales uh, in Sydney has provided us with a um, superstar lecture. Um, and that's also part of the content modules content. I just want to check is anybody are, are any of them? Um, are any of the uh, experts in the room? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can see them. Um, mm. A lot of them were saying that, you know, I mean, I think it's like 2 a.m. in Australia and it's yeah. pretty late in India as well. And Marg is pretty busy. So if she, if if nobody's here um, to say something, then we'll move on to um, our uh, our youth speakers instead. Do you see anyone, Danny, in the, in the room? Uh, none, none of the experts. So, yeah, I think we may be keep can keep going all right cool no worries all right so i'm going to pass back to you then danny um to to talk about um well well to introduce our youth experts but by the way uh the structure of what we do is we have global experts as in people who understand road safety from you know uh doctorate level all the way through to practicing um, in communities but then we also have which I feel is equally important is we have reviews from young people as well, because we don't want to, like you said, this is the reason and this is the, the way in which we keep our content youth friendly um, and talking the language of young people by having young people from, for example, the youth leadership board, uh, the yours team and so forth to say a few things. So, Danny, I'm going to pass over back to you to, to introduce our speaker if they're here. I'm not sure if, if I show is here, but I'm going to pass over to you, Danny. All right. Thank you, Manpreet. Um, yeah, so we, we asked Hai Darsho, who is one of our excellent young leaders and member of the Youth Leadership Board, to say some words. I'm aware he's here, but he's not having a good connection. He was texting me that he's not uh, with a good connection. So maybe I can share the testimonial he sent to us a few days um, ago, and you'll see this testimonial also in the, in the platform itself. So he said that road safety is key not only to reducing road safety issues, but also tackling other related health and environmental challenges. To understand these challenges and their connection, he says, with other broader development agendas, I recommend taking yours academy modules, which provide relevant information in an interactive way. In addition to these resources, Says the modules are designed simply to help learners learners to understand the content in a unique way while also enjoying the process. So these are Haidarsha's words. Um, uh, as I said before, I know he's here, but he told me he's not having a good connection and maybe he would be cutting all the time. Uh, but there you have it. These are um, some of our uh, young leaders' impressions on the module. He had the chance to read and, and provide feedback to uh to the content uh, as well as, as other young leaders uh, from the youth leadership board of the coalition so we are always happy to have uh that input from from the young leaders of the co coalition and now i'll pass it on to sana our advocacy uh manager to say a few words she also had the chance to review and provide provide feedback so sana uh the floor is yours thank you so much Dani. Um, uh, I would say that it is definitely heartwarming to see that there is an increasing number of young people recognizing the importance of road safety and aware of the risks associated with being on the road. Um, if you have taken the first two modules, uh, the one on the uh, global road safety problem and youth, and the second one on the safe system approach and risk factors, um, I highly encourage you to take them if you haven't. Uh, you will learn about the risk factors that are associated with um, fatal crashes. You will learn why more people uh, need to be alarmed about road crashes being the number one killer of young people worldwide and um, why we need transport systems that are forgiving, that are designed to uh, protect us even if we make mistakes on the road. I believe that this new module is coming at the right moment um, to broaden our perspectives on road safety, because it's not only about uh, speeding, it's not only about drink driving, distracted driving, uh, seat belts, it is also highly interlinked within the sustainable development agenda. Um, as young people, I believe all of us want to be part of creating um, a world that is more sustainable and more equitable for all of us. Uh, for, for this reason, I believe it is important to learn about 
the sustainable development goals because um, we are the generation that is responsible uh, to uh, face the challenges that our planet is facing today and also to be committed to creating a better future. Um, I think that as young people, we also need to uh, be part of urging our governments to make more safe and sustainable choices, to rethink our mobility choices. And this is highly tied with other things like um, energy consumption, uh, the environmental impact uh, of the traditional transport system that we have today. So uh, it's important to understand uh, that tra like uh, sustainable transport systems uh, that we want are not, are not only safe, but they also need to be inclusive. They need to be gender responsive. So when you take this module, you will be able to see the bigger picture and you will be able to connect road safety with other fields and understand when we talk about road safety as a shared responsibility for everyone, all road users and people from different backgrounds and from different uh, disciplines. So um, I would like to encourage everyone to take this module. It's going to be super fun. And I'm also sure you are going to learn a lot and unlock new ways of seeing road safety um, as a crucial part of um, holistically um, sustainable future for all of us. So um, I would like to encourage everyone to take this module and uh, of course the, the previous modules as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, see what you have learned and how will you use this knowledge uh, to um, enact actions in your local uh, in your local society to respond to uh, road crashes. Hmm. Thank you, Sana. Wonderful. And yeah, we I was also reminding all of this process of the past few months, and we have been trying to, for example, to highlight regional differences, uh, to. Um, extract and really summarize the data so it is very digestible and easy to to read and understand and and try to really connect and understand all the varied connections that road safety has with as you were saying uh gender inequalities uh development and uh, maybe um climate change and so on so you'll see that very clearly uh stated there in the module and uh now we would like uh, maybe to hear uh, some of your opinions, your impressions so far, uh, if maybe someone wants to open their microphone and share any insights they have um, or share their, their comments on the chat box, that is also welcome, but uh, we will be happy to hear from you uh, any feedback or any reflections you may have. So um, anyone maybe who's willing to open their, their mic and say a few words? Hi. Hi. Who is it? Yeah, uh, this Boneface. I can see who is. Oh, Boneface. All right, Boneface. Any impressions on the modules? Have you been able to um, take the modules of the Years Academy, or you have any questions? Uh, I just, uh, I just want to, I just want to get clarification on a certain point there. You see, it's my first time attending. Uh, U.S. Academy meeting, and uh, I'm a bit like confused a bit, but not such uh, because SDGs, I know what they are, and mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've passed through them in some places. So what I wanted just to know is uh, how are this course being accessed? Because the first time me, I found myself here. All right. Thank you, on face. We'll actually make a short tour on the platform in a bit, so you can really get uh, familiar with the platform, the e-learning platform we um, are using, which is called the Jurors Academy. And there, once you sign up, you access the modules and um, take them to your own pace. Just, so you will be guided through the different activities we have on the modules. And uh, you can maybe, you know, spend like a few hours one day or a few, uh, some minutes, um, half an hour, maybe one day, then you stop and keep going the other day and so on, uh, according to your um, availability of time. But that's what we have and we will show you uh, the platform in a bit so you can get familiar with it. Um, Sophia, please. Hi, Dani. How are you? Hi, Sophie. Good. 
Welcome. I started the first modules. I haven't completed them, completed them yet. But uh, what I could see until now is that everything is very clear and also that um, all, all of you are good at um, finding the topics that we need to um, get into, you, that we need more information on. I mean, I, maybe I, I feel like when we don't have a knowledge, we don't know sometimes that we don't have that knowledge. So it's very good that you can make this uh, guide for us. So we know when to begin with a topic and what's the next topic we should uh, get into. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we try to do always also to keep it like connected. Of course, the, the concepts, the safe system approach itself makes um, road safety a wide issue and it's easier to connect it to, to other topics. And that's what you will see also with this new module. And thank you so much for sharing your experience. And uh, there you have it, you know, like young people saying uh, it is a it, it is a good e-learning platform and it is easy to understand. It is it is friendly for for us to really improve our knowledge and abilities uh, related to the road safety advocacy and improvements. All right, anyone else? I see Komomo of them. Yes. Um, good afternoon. It's afternoon by the time here. And um, I would want to say that um, I, I've been privileged to um, go through both models. I have partly I've taken the courses and I finished them. And I, it was really, really insightful and really expository because there were so many things most of us really used to take for granted, you understand? especially seeing the dead rates, the um, hazard route um, issues, costs and everything. And coming to light, come bringing this to light that has really exposed a lot of things. Most of us are really hunger to see, hungry to see how um, these, um, these courses we took can affect our environment and our society. But then most of us, like myself, I'm from the West African parts, precisely Nigeria, where most times I am on the road and I see certain things that are flaws for the road, um, for, for the roads to thrive the way it is stated in the SDGs, where most times you see marshals that were supposed to be, road marshals that were supposed to, to help curb these um, disadvantages of the roads, you end up seeing them no matter how, especially for, um, for commercial drivers where you see them not helping matters where they take bribes and so on and so forth. For in certain things where vehicles are not really um, up to date to be used on roads and so on. These are some of the challenges most of us from this part of the world would always have because I think um, the, um, how do I put it? The, we use road traffics here, so they are not very helpful because they tend to be taking little, little arms from drivers even when because they are not doing, they are not, they are not following the rules of road users and so on and so forth, which is very hazardous to they themselves, to passengers and other road users. So these are the small, small challenges most of us are going to be encountering. So I don't know whether in the future there can be um, a way, maybe marshals to check meet even um, these road officials to see that their excesses are not gone unnoticed. These are some very vital points one should look at because it is really, it is really sickening on our kinds of roads. So this is what I am going to say for now. And I believe that um, you guys have faced all of these unheard um, issues like this and will definitely have um, ideas and so on on how we, on this part of the divide can tackle most of these issues too. Wonderful. Yeah, I think, yeah, the modules really informs on informs us on uh, strategies and practical tools to uh, keep working and promoting road safety. And as I said before, it also highlights regional differences. So you were telling us about your how in your community there are some road safety challenges. And the good thing is that we are speaking on the same language at the end of the day. Uh, we would we are using concepts and um, approaches that are useful for everyone, no matter where they are in the world. Um, I see a couple of hands, but we have we are running out of time. So maybe I'll pass it on. Uh, very briefly to Simon and Agita, and, and then we we can uh, maybe close the session with the last things we have prepared for you. So yes. Simon, 
Right. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, all right. Okay. okay, thank you, Danny. Uh, I just I, I just quickly wanted to share my experience uh, with the model. And um, I, I like to say that I, I review uh, the module and, and I, find it, I found it very resourceful in the work that we do to the point that uh, we've decided to make it a policy in our organization that teams that are new members, new teams that are coming on board must, you know, part of the learning, you know, tools, you must undergo the training, the, you must have to go through the capacity development training uh, using the, the yours uh, academy. And uh, so that's one thing. I've also used it, um, some of the resources I found there to, in my press, in our press releases. You know, they are such very, very resourceful that, you know, it makes everything very easy. And one of the ways I've also been making use of the platform is that I found it so interesting to the point that I don't want to finish finish it at once. I, so I read it a bit because of the, the, the level of resources it has in it. And then also in the, in the course of writing proposal, grant proposal, I also leverage the platform to get some problem statements, you know? So I find the platform very, very um, enriching and resourceful for anyone who is really, uh, who wants to learn about road safety, want to learn about the connectivity between road safety and environment, uh, equality, gender equality, human rights, you know, so I use it in all my, 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 my work and, and, and it is very resourceful. That's what I can say. Thank you, Simon. Wonderful. And uh, we are happy to have you here. And as he was saying, he also helped us review the module. He's one of the members of the Youth Leadership Board. So thank you also for making, us, uh, making it today. Let's finish with the interventions with Agita uh, and then yep. we close the session. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Um, sorry, Simon, for cutting off in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I have um, I have enrolled and passed the first and the second model, and it was it was really easy to um, from the process from registration. And I think shout out to Manpreet as well, or very engaging voice on the learning platform. Um, it you know it feels really nice to hear and then to really um, you know basically follow the learning platform from the beginning to the end of the, um, the courses. I have two inputs um, to share. The first is um, I think it would be great to um, make sure that because learning models for everyone could be really different. And I understand that there is a lot of a reading um, in the platform. And sometimes with people with disability, it could be really quite difficult for them to also read. So I think to have an option to have an audio for the reading, I think it will be quite beneficial as well. Um, number, yeah, the second one that I would like to add is in terms of the case study. So I think, um, to give a lot of more case study, uh, obviously coming, not many people are coming from the perspective of understanding fully about road safety. So I guess um, with a case study coming from a specific country, it will be great. And I know that um, I'm grateful that I'm one of the um, local actions awardee for 2023, but I think it's also quite important to kind of like merge it uh, from the local actions from the previous years and then putting it actually um, as a case study or the successful stories uh, within the Yours Academy. Thank you. Thank you, Agita. Those are wonderful suggestions. And thanks also for your nice comments and the, co the compliment for <laughs> on Manfred's voice. <laughs> uh, and we will keep that in mind. Uh, we were actually thinking on including some local actions experiences in this module, but really it was so wide and the amount of information was so uh, big that we really needed to summarize. But we will keep that in mind for sure. And uh, hopefully in the next modules, either the uh, youth engagement one or the advocacy one, we will keep those suggestions. All right, so I'll pass it on to Manfred again, uh, and we we will uh, close today's session. Thank you so much. And um, we, we are always looking for ways to make, number one, the platform more accessible. 
Uh, you know, we need to practice. I fully agree. We need to practice what we preach in terms of talking about accessibility, talking about equity and all these different things that we're doing in this module, but then also making access to the content also um, easy and, and, equi and equitable, um, but also at the same time, making it something that people from all different learning backgrounds. So bear with us. We are definitely considering these things. I really like the idea of an audio um, kind of um, transcription as well, but also um, when you're reading content, maybe to have that as an audio i've seen that done in other apps as well so i will i will definitely or we will definitely look into that and see and see how we can make it happen but i just want to in the spirit of openness and keeping that two-way dialogue open if you ever see anything on the platform that you feel we could have done better or if you ever see anything on the platform that you think well i have a really good example of a of a, a case study that might have worked really well here uh, or if ever you have something on there that you're not sure uh, what it means or you you, you think it, you know it could be improved in any way we're always open for for your uh, for your feedback because we we we're, we're creating this content for you guys and so we want it to be as effective and as as um you know as impactful as we can um in terms of uh, in terms of reaching out uh, and making sure that happens so basically what i'm saying is is that um the the, the, the two-way communication is always open for you to reach out to us and just let us know whatever you think don't always just wait for these moments but in between as well those moments are there and open you get plenty of emails from from us and the team and everyone when you're finishing a module when you're starting a module but just reply to that module if you to that email on the module if you want uh, and we're always around to 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 give feedback all right so that leaves uh, apologies to to two guys who had their hands up um if you want to drop something in the um in the chat i'm not sure where it is on your screen uh we, we can read it all right we'd love to hear from you uh, and it's just a case of timing we just need to wrap up now because people are going to move on so without further ado gives me a chance now to press launch on the module um let's do it ceremoniously now and play it for you Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. All right. There's a bit of anticlimax that was. It's like um all that work and then we just press that and we play that we play that um that video just to launch everything. All right. So, um as Danny mentioned, I want to very quickly show you the platform and then we're definitely going to wrap up now. So, uh let me see where here it is. So, where are we? Where are we? All right. Here we go. So, So, this is hopefully you can see my screen can you see my screen danny with the yeah we can you see it. all right perfect yeah, yeah, yeah we so, can see it. thanks basically when you go on to the yours academy website yoursacademy.org um you'll see us on the uh, on the home page you'll now see that when you scroll down to where your modules are you can see that the road safety and the sustainable development agenda uh, is on uh, and it's available you can also access it here and your modules obviously you have to sign up and sign in um uh, and get your get your access at the moment every module that we have is free completely free access to everybody um and and we're looking at what we might do in the future um to see what kind of investment people are willing to make in our in our content but for now these modules are are completely free and here you see um uh, road safety and the broader development agenda um a little bit about um what the module is the learning objectives that are already shared with you um what you can expect from the module uh, we have our three experts who have reviewed and contributed to it, uh, giving us their their feedback uh -huh. and what you can expect from the module. Um, thank you to Haidar Show for his comment that Danny read out a little bit earlier on. That's our youth leader. Uh, and then you see uh, all the different content, all the different comments um, that that we that we're reflecting on from introducing you to the content. Uh, through to introducing you to the sustainable development agenda, uh, looking at what the SDGs are, how do they link to road safety and which SDGs do that, um, and then um, a little bit about um, getting your certificate. Uh, my dog's also really excited. I don't know if you guys can see him in the background. He's going a bit mad. Uh, he's excited that we launched the module. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the final uh, little bit of introduction to 
what we've got. You'll receive an email with the latest uh, information on um, on this module through your emails. Uh, but I just want to say thank you to everybody who's um, who's helped us with this. There's lots of people who have made this module happen. A big thank you to you, Danny, as well, for working so hard on writing the a lot of the content that you see on there. Um, and Danny joined us uh, just at the back end of last year on um, you know on this kind of uh, road safety journey with the Yours Academy. So yeah, big shout outs to you, Danny, and and of course the whole Yours team and everybody else who's uh, who's made this happen, the young leaders, experts, and so forth. Um, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. Please go on, get onto the Yours Academy in your time. Check out the module, sign up to it, and uh, and hopefully you're going to find it really, really useful and really, really beneficial to the work you're doing. All right. Uh, any last words from you, Danny? Well, only that you can also spread the word, let other people know that we have these resources available and that they can really use them and learn from them and use them in their advocacy uh, projects on road safety. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, have a good day and enjoy the module. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.